Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a 21 outfits for the 21st of June video. Mic check. So this video, like I said, 21 outfits for the 21st of June, but I'm not just talking like night out clubbing outfits because we're going to go party on the 21st of June, but like outfits for when life starts again. Outfits I'm thinking outfits for the pub, outfits for a picnic, outfits for going around your friend's house because you can go in people's houses, outfits for literally every occasion because it's normal again, life is going to be normal again. On the 21st, which is literally a week and a day away, when you're seeing this, it's eight days away. So that's exciting. But yeah, so these are going to be some outfits for just normal life. Basically, the 21 outfits for 2021 kind of video but i feel like i missed my window of opportunity so we're just going for a ready for real life again 21 outfits for june 21st onwards girls so without further ado let's get into it okay girls first fit first of all let me talk you through it so we're gonna start off we've got these like like solar wannabe glasses i've got this incredible denim trench which i wish you could see maybe i can like bring you down a bit this is the trench with the denim jeans the denim on denim mo moment this top for like casual vibes these platform flipper flappers this trolley is not doing this these flip flops which are asos everything else is vintage i got the coat from like a family friend gave it to me um and then of course my Dior bag darling because I just love the like too much denim and this Dior has a very denim look about it. I do have two other denim bags I could have done but I was just feeling bougie and I just love her. So that's this outfit. Also I'm wearing just like all my denim rings. Like this gives me very denim vibes. Excuse that's missing. Um, and you get it. A lot of silver. Oh and the bag. I could do this but if I'm like out and about another bag that would look adorable is this one give me a sec another bag option is this like i've had this since i was literally at 13 um sorry i'm actually sweating it's like a little top shop little bag on a silver chain i just thought the silver works like the chain the crossbody moment i love this fit i feel like such a fatty literally look at me like being such a hottie anyway so love this fit I could like run errands in this. I could just be an absolute bad bitch in this. Honestly, I love this. I'm not actually gonna wear this, for sure. This was a good first outfit, okay. I feel like if this was like tighter, it'd be a lot cuter, but we're gonna wear what, we got, what we've got, girls. Okay, next outfit. I'm sticking with the jeans and the heels. So again, I've got the little kitten heels on and I'm doing like night look. Um, very June 21st, we're gonna have a dinner and drinks, girls. This is the fit. So let's break it down. Starting off, I'm wearing this insane like waistcoat. I got vintage, and I've just got this really nice little lacy bra underneath. Little bit, a tiny bit of lace peeping out. And then I've got my leather blazer on because it's just the perfect thing. These jeans, I'm wearing them like relatively low waisted, as low waist as I'm comfortable with. But anyway, so yeah, the heels I think are so cute and leather blazer i've got this dkmy bag but you can even do a really fancy little cute beaded bag moment like this but this is just easy right, and then i've got some big don't even talk to me i don't know who you think you are glasses like, like this outfit gives me the energy of i think i'm better than you i know i'm hot what about it do you know what i mean anyway love this i'm really liking styling waistcoats and yeah i just like stack up on the gold jewelry again i do like a really big gold hoop I'd like an obnoxious hoop and i probably use some really sexy eyeliner like and a slip back hair you know the drill girls you know the drill so on to outfit three girls also just an idea but i just thought if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it a bit more like fancy like a bit more formal definitely a big pair of suit trousers could be a look so that's I was just popping in here because I just tried that on and I was like, okay. So this, is it my third outfit? I think so. So this is a brown top from Urban. Beautiful top. 
great on the on the titties love this top the satin skirt that was my mom's obviously the heels i know you can literally hear me my feet clomping so i know you knew that already it's cute brown top brown thing brown blazer i'll bring you back up again excuse this mess by the way brown blazer uh again vintage not vintage just like charity shop the shoes charity shop the skirt is my mum's. this is urban this uh, and then i've just got my little dior wallet on chain i wouldn't wear this bag i'd wear like a little pink one but the only pink one i have is this and you know what i think it is kind of cute you know i actually think i would wear this and then i'd wear these sunnies either some big brown sunnies or these i do have this skirt which i think would be so cute with this outfit okay oh <gasps> that looks even better Okay, so I do have this skirt, which I think would actually look better, to be honest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you, because I love you, I'm going to show you. And I'm going to risk getting, like, bed bugs or something off some old granny. With this skirt on, this skirt is, like, literally huge. But um, I'm going to try and make it work, because it's such a nice skirt. I bought it because I just saw it, and it just literally said Rachel Green in it. And I was like, mm, okay, see there. Just wearing these flip-flops. Again, it depends on the occasion. Chunky flip-flops or heel flip-flops. I think both are cute to be honest, or some little brown shoes. Even some like Oxfords would look cute in there with this. But this is so big for me, look. I could literally fit in here twice. Anyway. Moving swiftly on. Okay, now onto a more innocent summer girl moment. So this dress I actually got from a charity shop yesterday. Again, I haven't washed it yet because I only got it yesterday and I want to use it in this video. Let's not talk about it. Um, I think this needs a tote bag. I'm feeling a little bit insecure because I feel like this is making me look a bit already in charge. But I've paired it with these silver cowboy boots. Now, I don't know if the silver goes. I don't know. I think also sometimes I just have to accept I can't pull certain things off because I'm so pale. But that's fine. I'm not sure if I'm vibing with the silver. But I think cowboy boots are definitely the one for this dress. I would wear like brownie, beigey, pinky, like any sort of like neutral toned cowboy boots i definitely wear with this but i don't have any i only have fucking silver ones so yeah like i said tote bag could do a little hair moment with a little scarf so yeah i'd wear that with that or literally trainers these ones to tie in with the gold i could wear these ones to tie in with these are proper dad shoes but you can catch my drift tying in the trainers if you want to be comfy but i have two more ideas for this so we're gonna we're gonna see what it looks like it's a yes from me girls it's a yes from me this jacket is a bit small for me but you catch my drift imagine i love this and also i'm talking like way too much blush hardly any makeup on but like dewy and golden but like really blushy pink little lips little handbag girls this is stunning i love this guys i'm killing it i thought i was gonna hate all my outfits i love all of them i'm four outfits in i'm literally gonna hate this in like a few outfits time i think i'm starting to struggle now guys because this is a bit questionable i've got this top basically it's cute with the jacket but without the jacket this is just not okay i planned another top and it looked terrible so this is i don't know i don't have time to really fucking think about what would look good so this is my makeshift attempt but anyway i've got this top on from img that's a size extra large and i'm not an extra large and it's huge on me but so i kind of just like holding it there anyway it's got these cute little details and i just it's the main two components of the fit are the jacket and the skirt so this jacket is vintage from bruce archive <gasps> we're missing a main ingredient guys okay it's better i'm gonna change my rings out for some blue a little bit of blue going on for the chain bow party. Um, and then this skirt was, is homemade. I made it myself. I made a TikTok on how I made it. But if you want me to do a YouTube video, I'd actually love to because it's such an easy upcycle and it looks so good. Um, kind of thing that IMG would sell for literally like £90. And you can just make it yourself. So I went to a charity shop and I got this skirt, which was literally like a belt, like a proper mini skirt. What I did is I just got some denim, like collective denim from friends and family that they didn't want anymore and I just chopped it up and then just sewed it on the bottom so that's the skirt and then yeah I'd wear it with like I think big chunky like almost buffalo style shoes I think that would look best but anyway you catch the drift moving on next look 
this look is good but it's questionable like I love it but the blazer is just that bit too big if that blazer was just a little half a size smaller it or four sizes smaller it would look so good but we're gonna go with it basically it's a full suit look I'm gonna have two suit looks because I love a woman in a suit dressing it down like i just think it's iconic i think it looks so good to make to wear a suit how it's not intended to be worn i love it this we've got the sunnies this is a, a jamiroquai tea got from a charity shop this suit is from a charity shop for two pound basically the story behind this suit and why it's so huge is i've been looking for a suit in charity shop for literally so long and then i went to a charity shop that was closing down yesterday and it was like everything two pounds so i was just like i'll literally buy the first one like the only the, there was only one there I was I'll just buy the first one I find because like I'm never gonna find two pound again we'll see what I can do with it and it said 44 and for some reason my brain thought 34 and a, a 34 waist on me is like fine it's just baggy so but my brain was working like that despite the fact it was anyway you get the, you had to drift I was like oh my god perfect turns out it's fucking you did like look at the size of this blazer but let's just okay just visualize that this isn't like so big it's laughable that is the first look in the suit i'm gonna do another look in the suit okay seventh look question mark it's the same suit and i've got this sheer shirt on so it's kind of like a play on the suit like because obviously you'd wear it with a shirt but i've got like a see-through shirt i've got a mesh like lacy bra on and it just makes it sexy but if you really want to play on the whole suit, masculine vibe. I've never tried this before, but we're going to try it because I've seen too many people who I love wear ties. So I'm going to wear fucking tie girls. Found this in my dad's wardrobe. And how cool is this tie? It's like a little, oh, it's a Monty Python tie. Anyway, love this. So I actually don't know if I know how to tie a tie. Okay, so done up, tie done properly because I don't know how to fucking tie a tie apparently. But like, oh, I don't fucking know, girls. I don't know. I was inspired. I was inspired by Chloe Filipoulos. I was fully inspired and now I'm not anymore because it looks shit. We failed on this one, but it's fine. We're just experimenting, guys. Fashion is about experimentation. Experimenting and expressing yourself freestyle i should be a motivational speaker okay we're back in business i'm starting to shake because i need to eat food and this is exhausting um i just put some perfume on to feel bougie to get my confidence back up this is like an actual 21st of june like going out clubbing fit like clubbing drinks i've got these boots on i'm usually trying to go on a night out but i want to wear heels now i'm like i've missed it so much but anyway so these boots i love these are ebay the dress is off cut studio i'm feeling a little bit insecure so i will be sucking in the leather blazer because i don't go anywhere without the leather blazer on the boots to match the leather blazer the nice pasty white legs perfect accessory i always i never leave the house without i do a little black bag little baby black bag with the silver details to add to to match the dress. The dress has this really nice keyhole cut out. I wouldn't, I'd wear a different bra or no bra, but yeah. Maybe I'd do like a fun ponytail, like a plait. And I definitely do some dark sexy makeup with this, defo. Some like dark smoky liner. I'm shaking, so I'm gonna go eat some food and then I'll be back to it, girls. But I'm quite happy to have a break, so I'm fucking knackered. All right. He's back in business. This look, it's a comfy one. I've done a few fancy ones. She's comfy again. This look has a few levels to it. This is giving me, this is like I'm hungover and I've got to get the train. I don't know. This is what I'd wear. This is what I'm gonna, probably what I'm gonna wear actually when I go to Bristol next week. I'm talking, we've got like a five hour train and coach journey girls. Do you know what I mean? I want to be comfortable. So this is the fit for the occasion. Let me just ring up. So. We've got green necklace, ignore this one. Green necklace, green rings, green top, green joggers, green 
jumper, matching tracksuit moment. Either you're hungover or you're tired or it's an early morning. You've got the matching tracksuit and then matching tracksuit. Oh, I do look a bit rough, you know, I am leaving the house. Let's just bring it together a little bit with the trusty trench. I feel like a trench can just like sort any outfit out. You can have like a rough outfit on, put a trench on and you're just good to go girls. So I'd wear this with my trainers with like the gold in them or proper dad trainers. Do you know what I mean? Iced coffee in hand. What about it? I think I prefer it just like as the tracksuit. Oh, this look is the same top, all green. I'm liking this green colour. This blazer is um, Versace I found in the charity shop when I was literally like 14, 15 and I just had to buy it with people's Versace and I was like, oh my god. And I found it the other day and I was like, oh my god, I'm so glad I kept this. Because, guys, I think this is so cute. It has the gold buttons which match my big fat hoops which I'm loving. And yeah, I've got the same top on. This is vintage. And this skirt, I actually bought at a charity shop yesterday. And it's really, it's like long and midi and kind of ugly. But I just like tucked it up. And tomorrow, in the next few days, I'm going to crop it basically. So that's that. And then I'm wearing just trainers, like proper dad trainers. Like these are the shoes, literally just dad shoes I got off eBay. Seven pounds. But I really like this outfit. I think it's fun. <laughs> Look, 11, very similar to 12, very similar to 10, sorry. This is the kind of thing I wear like all summer long. A big baggy t-shirt, a little white skirt. I used, all summer last year I wore my like slazenger skirt, but I don't like it anymore. So I'm gonna wear this one instead. But little white skirt, big baggy tee. This is like what I wear all summer, like when I just don't want to put that much effort in. So this top is an eagle tour tee that I got from a Tyler gig. I think it's cute, I love it skirt again i told you this earlier it's, it's literally a few of the same things this is the jacket you saw earlier um rings these are my rings obviously pixie so this is pixie this is ebay they're just resin rings you'll find them anywhere um pixie rings um pixie rings i love this one how nice is that and yeah pick uh, again ebay ebay mf june ones ebay yeah uh yeah uh yeah it's so we've got a very different look and i think i'm probably thinking well, i'm not really sure why you put this one in here kate but you know what i was just getting a bit bored i thought you know what let's just spice it up and do something a little bit different so what i've got an outfit like on you know what i was gonna do it with a dual saddle but i actually think it's more of a <laughs> moment so this dress was my mum's, and this is what my mum wore to meet the Queen. Iconic. Queen! That's what my mother wore when she met Lizzie herself. So it's really nice. To be honest, it doesn't look good with the bra I'm wearing, but like, sorry. Um, I'm wearing it with these earrings, which are so techy, but it's fun. And look, I did a nice gloves and rings moment. I was just getting a bit bored of, you know, the similar vibe, so I thought, let's spice it up. Let's add a little bit of glam, darling. But this is a very girly, it's like girly, but I'm trying to like, I'm playing on the fact it's super girly and just making it like over the top girly. So first of all, I'm wearing just these trainers, just these trainers gold white you've seen them before i've got this skirt that i got from a charity shop which is originally red herring i really like it. this is the comfiest skirt ever anyway top this is actually a unif dupe which i don't i don't promote or condone by like buying like ripoffs from any sort of designers um but i bought it literally like three years ago when i was making the wrong decisions in my fashion in my shopping choices so i'm not gonna tell you this from because i don't want to promote the place where i bought it from but anyway it's completely see-through and i'm just wearing this like nude bra underneath to be honest i think it would look so much cuter with like a little ditzy printed like bra you, you could even do like a lacy bra underneath it and just really go for a little pink baby pink one but i just found that only one that i could find um anyway and then i've got this fluffer like ostrich feather i would guess waistcoat that i got from a car boot sale again i think i mean it feels pretty real to me 
because just they don't feel like this one fake, do they? But I got it from Carby so obviously. If it's not encouraging the reproduction of it, then it's fine. So yeah, this little thing. I've got my little Dior wallet on chain. I got this necklace on, which I think goes perfectly with like the fairy nymph vibes. And it's basically just this little pearl necklace I made with like all the different pearls I could find in the building. So love that. But yeah, I just think this is such a cute outfit. Like, it is a bit eccentric. But anyway, I just think it's really cute, to be honest. Anyway, so I'll show up with this other jacket, because I think this could be really cute. Again, you could wear this with this. I, I love this blazer. I just wish it were, like, a size or two bigger. But you get the gist. I just love playing on the pinks and, you know, and just making it super good. Oh, yeah. white track, you sister Chris and We've all seen this so color before, but I thought I'd style it a little bit differently to how I've styled it before. A little bit bougier. So, first we've got this dress, which is really serving black satin midi dress, I'll show you. And I'm just wearing it with these little, like, strappy heels. You know what, I'll just take them off and show you, because they are... <laughs> I don't like Anne Boleyn. So these are the heels I'm wearing. These are just Primark heels that I got like two, two years ago. I went to like a ball at my boyfriend's uni and I couldn't find shoes and I was like, it was like the day off so I got them for Primark. Sue me. So like I said, the dress, okay, this dress is also boohoo. This I got about two years ago as well. It literally sells its tags on because I've never worn it. I just thought the, the ruffles on like the boobs just didn't they just look weird and i don't like myself in satin anyway because i don't think i'm skinny enough but um with this over the top it kind of like distracts and i just thought it was a really cute way of styling it my friend molly actually styled it in a very similar way in her she's like a little fashion film which you know what i'm gonna ask her if i can i'm gonna put it up here but she wore this with a similar sort of look and i just thought it looked cute i wouldn't have thought to style it that way so shout out to molly for the inspo but yeah, I just think it's cute this way. So, love that. But anyway, that is look whatever, number whatever. But I think it's cute. Just wearing it open or like one button done up here. I just think it's a cute moment and it's nice. Maybe I will keep this dress. I was gonna get rid of it because I've never worn it. Maybe I will keep it. Anyway, on to the next. Okay, same dress, different fit. Another example of wearing the same, re-wearing re the same clothes and making things different because I think there's such a stigma around outfit repeating at the minute, but there's also such a stigma, and rightly so, around overconsumption at the minute. So then this sort of thing is how you can make the same piece a completely different look. So that's like this, let me show you. So I've got this dress on still, um, and I've just put this incredible corset over the top. This corset I've actually had for like two years now, and I've never worn it because I just didn't know how. Like I wore it, I never thought it did much good for my boobs, but I actually think having this dress on underneath makes it look better, but usually just flattens them. And I didn't like how it looked with jeans, I didn't like how it looked with leather trousers, anything like that. I just thought it looked too try hard. It didn't look that good. But I wish I'd thought of this before because I think this looks amazing. I love this. I've got this little bag. But if you want to make it fancy, I feel like this would be really nice for like a nice dinner. Um, but you can easily like, you know, make it more casual. Chuck a leather blazer over the top. I mean, you could do anything with this. You could wear chuck a blazer over the top. You could just do a little brown bag. Um, little black bag you could do I don't really like it with a jacket I prefer it without a jacket but I wear it with like my kitten heels like these probably either these or these you've seen them both before I think this is such a nice way of wearing the same piece in a different way but I just think this is such a nice little look you do a tiny bag you do a big bag this dress is already really flattering on my body shape and I think this corset just brings it in again I just think it's such a gorgeous look. Like it's so elegant. Like it needs discipline. I hate your chat and chat and whisper. This, this is more of a, a basic look for me, to be honest. But this is like a night outfit. This is like a night out, but like it's gonna be cold because it's like still England and it's the evening. Um, but to be fair, this is more, more of a winter night out outfit. But just guys, let me let me live. This is it's raining. Cause to be fair, it's raining. Do this up. No rain's getting anywhere near me. So this is. A bit of an under booby top, I'm not really sure how much under booby I want to show, but this is a like fake IMG again. We don't we don't support fake fakes. I don't like a fake. If you want it, buy it from a fucking brand, don't 
support sellers that steal off small designers. Not even, I mean, IMG's not even small, but you catch my drift. We don't like set fakes. But again, I bought this years ago. I've had this for literally like two, three years. So I'm feeling a little bit larger in charging this, but it's fine. We're not gonna feel insecure about it. So I've got my leather blazer on. We all know I wear this all the time. It's thrifted. Love her. These leather trousers are, they're flared and they're from Topshop. Let me show you the flared. See? Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the fit. I think uh, shoe-wise, I'd either wear, depending on how bougie I'd wear, I feel, I'd either wear like my massive docks if I, because like I'm drunk, so I can't feel the pain, or I'd wear big chunky trainers. I'd also wear it with this top, which is actually real IMG. You guys probably all know the one. If you if you like my clothes, you probably know IMG clothes. Do you know what I mean? I feel like if you're a fashion girl, you know which one. But this top. That would be really cute, but I'm feeling a bit insecure, girls. This Babylon City, it's that time again. There's no hope for screens like this. Okay, this outfit, to be honest, I don't really like it, and it's quite similar to one I did earlier. It's so squeaky, but the coat, you've seen it before BMW jacket, Bruce Archive. The top, basically, I wanted to wear this thingy because basically all my white tops are too see through, and I couldn't find my like good bra. and. I it's boring like it's just a white tee and the skirt is so boring so i put this on but I, I think it's just a bit too long like you need a kind of crop moment like this please so anyway so i've got this on i do need to adjust it like take it in so it can be like that but i don't know if i like it but i've got this eight ball necklace again i made this one the top shop bag that had literally since i was 12. i wore this recently on my birthday but i didn't wear this and i just wore this jacket and I think I, I prefer it it's just like without this it's just a bit boring and I'm trying to be fun and funky but you know what let's I'm gonna take this off and show you it without and just trying to cover my nipples okay so this is how I probably would want it to be honest I don't know if I'd wear this last time I just wore pearls my gold Joe and Co necklace my kind of classic necklaces and then I'm just wearing my Nike Vapormax 360s that I got from eBay, £40 bag, and yeah, if you wore, if you watched my birthday vlog, I wore this in that, so sorry. I don't know what it is. It's getting really hard now, I actually don't know how to put an outfit together. Anyway, on to the next. Uh, okay, yeah. next look is the small number. So first of all, I've got this skirt. It's from Marks and Spencers. It's a midi skirt. You would have seen it in my huge trash haul I did a while ago at the try and haul. Yeah, I think you might be able to see my boobs. So I'm going to cover up this incredible Fendi monogram print um, top I got from Resourced Vintage, I believe. I'll put the at here but resource vintage i got it from i'm really worried it's a bit see-through with this like light um i got from the pop-up shop that i did in london so that's this top i'm literally obsessed with it i can't stop wearing it it's like slinky it's like this gorgeous like slinky material i'm obsessed with it so that and then this necklace is second hand this necklace is gem and co these i think i said they were asos earlier but to be honest i don't know i've had them for about 10 years 10 years like five years these are car boot sale and then i've got the same car boot sale fluffy vest on and my fendi bag oh actually is the fendi on fendi a bit much i've just clocked that is that a bit much i mean maybe it's not because they're different maybe it's fun who knows so that you can wear this this way or you could do it a different way which i will show you now you can like casual it down this i've worn a few times um i think either works perfectly with that look i probably would have worn these shoes maybe little shoe moment but if i'm doing it more casual i'd probably wear these because again the white the gold jewelry um but yeah big jacket bag just makes it a bit more casual a bit more chill a bit more comfy yeah, this is a very Kate Robinson outfit to be honest. I like these earth tones together, I think it looks really nice. And I like the way this is like, I really like the colours in this top. So, yeah, that's yeah. another outfit out the way. Okay, so this outfit is an outfit, but I feel like it's, I don't have a jacket or anything. It's just these, these like cotton trousers. Um, and then, so just like white trousers. And then this top, this is Morris, Morris Rush Weaver 
on Instagram and I do this with like blue eyeliner my blue my makeup is looking really rough because I've been wearing it since like 8am but and it's currently 5 30 but yeah this is cute comfy very summer vibes like when you don't want to wear a skirt just like an all white pop of color and jacket wise I would wear I tried it on my denim trench and I don't know if I really liked it but what it would look best with is a big white um like a white sleeveless puffer that would be stunned and then I've got my normal trainers on my 360s and rings wise pixie pixie ebay 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 nails nails by lola you know the drill if my nails ever look good it's only ever nails by lola so yeah that's this fit okay next fit it's so this dress is a second hand but i feel like it's from wallace or coast or something but anyway look really pretty detailing it's got this like embroidery on certain bits it's like floral it's got the lettuce hem at the bottom you probably can't see so cute girly very summery i've just put it with a tote bag i do have a pink tote bag i think it'll be so cute like a baby pink tote bag but yeah i'm wearing my glasses these are my new my new glasses cute not sure what to wear with these but i want to be able to see when i'm filming this clip so yeah gold jewelry a little tote i just think this is a cute little look when you want to like have a summer day out but you want to look that a little bit more cutesy maybe a cutesy on the date so that is look number 20 baby when you never ever 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 take me Hello. So it may or may not be a different day like a week later and I may not be wearing different makeup, different hair and different glasses but I've taken my glasses off now hence why I'm like because my glasses don't wear this outfit so I'm just going to be blind for this outfit but we're on the final stretch girls so this is outfit number because I've, I've, I've lost count but here we go Okay, so this is the fit. I can't see why I look like in the viewfinder because I'm blind. But starting off with this little ASOS number. It's like a satin cow neck, very small for me, mini dress. I mean, she really said mini dress, look. Not gonna lie, not quite sure I'd go out in this because it's too small for me. It's literally two sizes too small for me. Oh, well, one size too small for me. But for the vid, just allow it guys, let it slide. Then I've got this shirt moment. This foul but also adorable shirt I got from a cobby cell. So I thought I'd chuck this over the top. Not gonna lie, it looked better off than it looks on. So maybe it's questionable, maybe this is horrible. You decide for yourself. If you don't like it, don't feel free to tell me. Flip flop heels, you know the drill any sort of little hill this would be super fun with like a colorful hill but i ain't i ain't got it but i'll talk you through my jewelry so i definitely wear either these or like some massive chunky gold hoops not me looking this rough again some sort of updo maybe jewelry i've just got this gold necklace on but rings rings are really the start of the show so first of all tell me this sexy ring Tell me this wasn't literally made for this. And look, it says sexy. So, a pixie ring. Pixie ring for the win, am I right, girls? Then I've got an old school pixie ring from back in the day. Then I've got a new school pixie ring, unreleased. Um, don't know if I will re release these, but I just made it for myself. Then I've got an eBay ring. Oh, first of all, new nails by, nails by Lola. Then I've got an eBay, eBay, Pixie. But just like, look at the rings with the outfit darlings. So that is outfit numero. If you like this video, let me know. This is my favorite content to make, so get on it. And I will make so much more if you like it. So love you, like, subscribe. <sighs> and I'm very happy to be finishing this video because I nearly died making this. Love you. Yeah. Bye. I'm free little brothers to feed.
yeah. Three little birds singing, I'm a believe. Else